Welcome to the tutorial on web publishing uh, in the course Website Design and Architecture. Uh, I'm going to walk you through uploading your website or the files that you've created to this point that comprise your, your website. Uh, we're going to upload them to a web server. Now the web server that you're going to be using for this course is actually my uh, educational web server and so I've created each of you a, an account which uh, translates to a specific folder uh, just off of the root of the website. So the website, uh, if you've seen from my course uh, that I have posted in Blackboard under the contact information is faulknercob.com. So the folders that I've created for each of you uh, are named with your last name and they are placed uh, in the root of that website. So I've created a sample folder for myself as well uh, using my last name. So it will be faulknercob.com slash bond, B-O-N-D, for my folder. Each of your respective folders will uh, use your last name, and those have already been created. Those are available. So as soon as you follow this process that I'm about to show you here, you will be able to upload your files and see them live on the Internet. So the first thing we need to do is, uh, once we open Expression Web, we should be looking at all the files that we've created in our site view in the middle here and off to the left we have our folder list. Uh, so we need to connect this to a web server and to do that we need to click the site button and then we need to go down we see publishing and publishing settings. We'll come back to publishing in just a second but right now we'll use publishing settings and under the publishing tab of the site settings window that pops up there are no publishing destinations at this point but we're going to add one so we'll click the add button under the name, you can put in the name of the business, the uh, fictional business that you've created for this course. Um, if you've noticed, and hopefully you have, mine is Faulkner and Faulkner Law. We are going to use connection type FTP. There are a variety of connection types, but FTP, uh, as you read in the book, is probably the most common, although not necessarily the most secure. So uh, I do encourage you to read through the rest of the uh, the chapter where it discusses each of these publishing types. But as I said, we'll use FTP and we'll move on down to our location. You see FTP colon slash slash, which is actually the protocol for FTP, which is file transfer protocol. Uh, we're going to enter in the server here, which will be the same for everyone. So we'll put in ftp.faulknerbus.com. And that is just the main domain, the primary domain on the account that I have. So faulknerbus.com. We'll move down and you see directory. That's if you had a specific folder that you wanted to access within a uh, domain, you could set up your FTP account to go directly to that using this box. However, I've already created FTP accounts for you that go directly to your folder. So you don't have to put anything in this box. So we'll leave directory empty. Username is your last name. As I said, the same name as your folder. And this is just the way I set it up. It isn't necessarily that way uh, in, in all cases. So mine is bond at faulknerbus.com. And now this does not translate to an email address, although it appears uh, in the format of one. This is simply the username for you to get access to your FTP site that takes you to your folder. So yours will be your last name at faulknerbus.com. In the password blank, we're going to insert our passwords, and these will differ for each of you, of course, but uh, they are tied to your student ID and your initials. So what we put in here are our student IDs, and then the first initial of your first name, and the first initial of your last name. That is your student ID, and then the first initial of your first name, and the first initial of your last name. That's all there is to it. If we click the Add button, it takes us back to the Site Settings window, and you see there is now a publishing destination titled with the name of your business if you titled it uh, the way I just showed you. You'll click the OK button and now it appears that nothing happened but what has really happened in the background is we have the site settings ready so that as soon as we connect to our site it will uh, hopefully respond appropriately and show us the files that are on on the website and the ones on our local computer. So we'll, to do this we have to go back to the site button, choose publishing whereas before we chose publishing settings and it takes us to the screen where in the middle of it it says connect to current publishing destination and assuming we put in all the credentials the information correctly it will do that when we click this button
So now on the left hand side of the screen you see all of the files on your local machine. On the right hand side you see the files on your on the, the remote server under your folder. Uh, it should be blank because there should be nothing in each of your folders. But you should see each of your files on the left hand side and it's really rather simple to get those up to the web. We highlight them on the left hand side which again is our local machine and we come down and press the blue arrow pointing in the direction we want those files to move. Now we watch the bottom of the screen, it should be uploading those files. This will, uh, the speed of this will vary depending on your connection speed and the size of the files that you're uploading, but now when it's finished, we see on the right hand side of the screen all of the files available on our web server and those available on our local machine. Uh, if you wanted to transfer files the opposite direction, you would simply highlight them and point the arrow pointing towards your local machine. But that's really all there is to it. Uh, now we just want to verify that those are there so we can open up a web browser. I'm going to use Internet Explorer. And we will click in the address bar to get to the website that we just uploaded. We're simply going to put in www.faulknercob.com. Now that is different. We use Faulkner BUS for our login. But this is Faulkner COB, which is my personal site uh, that I've listed under the contact information in Blackboard. And then we'll put slash our last name. So mine is Bond. Yours will be your respective last name. We hit the enter key and you should see your site if you uploaded it correctly. And we can browse through each of these pages and they should load fairly quick because we don't have much content on them. And you should have a similar setup to this on each of your pages. You may not have a home tab because we did, or a home uh, page because we didn't do that yet, but uh, in the case of mine, I did, which means when I first put in the name of my website slash my last name, it took me to my home page, which was index.html. Uh, since you don't have an index page, or you may not have an index page, you'll probably have to type in one of your individual pages. In this case, you can do about.html, uh, and then that should get you there where you can browse the remainder of your pages. That's all for now.